My BFI player choice this week is one of a handful of films by Austrian auteur Michael Haneke, currently available on BFI Player, an enigmatic psychological thriller that became a cause celeb when it premiered in Cannes back in 2005, provoking intense discussion about its themes, its meaning, and its growing atmosphere of dread and guilt, cachet, hidden. What do we do now? And how? Do you want to prevent the police? Oui, euh... non, je je sais pas, redonne-moi le, le dessin. Non, il vaut peut-être mieux aller à la police. On dirait plutôt un dessin d'enfant. Aucune idée, je peux pas dire. Juliette Binoche and Daniel Otoy are the affluent Parisian couple who are quietly terrorized by videotaped footage of their home. Footage that makes them think they're the being watched, right but for what and by whom? These are questions that Haneker is not keen to answer. Instead, his icy film starts to pick away at the fracture lines in their lives, <laughs> and Otoy's George <laughs> starting to unravel as the tapes and accompanying <laughs> pictures lead him back into his past <laughs> and a buried <laughs> secret. If you come out wanting to know who sent the tapes, Annika is said of Cachet, you didn't understand the film. For him, the fact that his movie has the outward trappings of a whodunit is itself merely a red herring, leading viewers away from the film's real mystery, how we deal with guilt and how we reconcile ourselves to living with our actions. Now these are questions that can be traced back to early Haneke films like Benny's Video and forward to works such as The White Ribbon and The Moor. Bizarrely, Haneke followed Cachet, which won numerous prizes, including Best Director at Cannes, with what's probably his worst film, the English-language remake of Funny Games, which utterly failed in its foolhardy attempt to bring the tell-me-off-a-thon thesis of his Austrian original to a wider audience. As for Hidden, it remains perhaps the pinnacle of his career, chilling, understated, and deeply disturbing. Killer. 